All right, so today we're going to watch a film called Rip, a Remix Manifesto. This film, uh, you know, is a you know, 2008, 2009 film that looks at remixing, um, explores it a little bit more um, in, in depth, um, and also just looks at some of the problems of copyright law and how it, it works with the remix culture or remix ideas or the read-write culture that is more prevalent in our society um, than in the past where we were, you know, just read-only watching, watching stuff. So um, I want to give you some questions just to kind of go into the film. These are on the course website and Canvas under the things to do before class. So just pay attention to these while you're watching the film. So just look at how the film broadly describes the nature of creativity and how has this changed um, over time. Um, or is like remixing always how we made stuff? Is this just something that has been, yet we've never get, had a name for it or something like that? Just think about how the printing press changed how ideas were regulated and circulated um, and how it allowed for control over ideas. Again, these are just things to think about. You don't have to like um, take detailed notes on this stuff. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time with a character named Greg Gillis, aka Girl Talk. You maybe probably never heard of him, but you know, 10 years ago, he was a very popular um, music producer, I guess you'd call him. He was really a mashup mix, you know, remix artist. Uh, I mean, he was playing Coachella, playing in Las Vegas, getting paid, you know, thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a show. Uh, but his songs are all made up of multiple other people's songs. So I want you to think, you know, he uses fair use um, to justify the sale of his albums or the, his music, which he actually offered for pay as what you, what you want. So uh, he made the majority of his money from live performance of, of, his, uh, of his songs. Um, but he says his, al his music's fair use. I want to know, do you buy it? And if we were to look at a Panam of this, you know, where would we be? You know, like, where would he, ha would he have a strong fair use case? Um, and we'll look at that after, after, the, after the film, um, you know. Uh, and don't worry about, you know, our his use is de minimis, which means um, use so little, it doesn't matter to law. We'll learn about that in a few months. But um, yeah, do you think he strengthens fair use or weakens it um, by using it? And, um, and why do you think he's able to perform his music and make a lot of money? And he's, you know, he's really never been sued for this. So um, I want you to think about how performance rights for music work. So think about the fact that uh, when it, you know, a sound recording is played by a DJ or played at a supermarket or whatever, the record labels and recording artists don't get paid because there's no performance rights for sound recordings. But John Philip Sousa and produ um, composers and songwriters do get paid for the performance of compositions in those sound recordings. So how, how is Girl Talk able to make 40, 50 grand by playing other people's uh, music? Um, just think about how like this concept of the network uh, and computer connectivity, um, you know, uh, you know, how does it, how does it like reflect the creativity of read write culture, and how can you look at remixing as like a language? Um, just kind of think about that when we watch the film. You know, is the process more important than than um, than the product? Like, is the act of actually making the remix more important than what actually the remix is. It's how do they explore that? Um, think about is remixing folk art? I think just one way to kind of think about this is like what is folk art? You know, folk art is art made by untrained artists. So, you know, uh, if someone, you know, when you traditionally think of it, you think of like someone who whittled a sculpture. Um, but they never were trained in, you know, whittling sculptures or sculpture making or anything like that. They just know how to do it, and that's considered folk art. So how is, you know, non-professional communication using other people's content edited on computers, uh, how, is, how is that folk art or how can that be folk art, okay? Um, 
Do you think the film is fair use? We can panam it after. Don't worry about the rest of the stuff uh, in the question, but do uh, yeah, you think the film is fair use? And I want you to pay attention to what culture jamming is um, in this film and examples of it will bring us up throughout the term, but culture jamming is basically using the media against itself. So the, um, a fair use tale in many ways could be seen as a culture jamming project because it critiques um, Disney. So using Disney media to make a comment on, on Disney. So just think about what is culture jamming. And lastly, what do you think about the free culture movement in Brazil and some of the things that they're, they're doing down there and how they've embraced this concept of, of the remix? Um, and it's part of their culture, you know, when we talk about pharmaceutical drugs, when we talk about the music and all that stuff. So do you think that could work here? Again, so these are some things that you maybe want to jot some answers down. Um, you know, what is, what is his thesis here, you know, uh, in the film? Um, but I'll talk, you know, enjoy it, um, maybe watch it with the fam, watch it with some friends, if you have any. Uh, it's always a challenge for me, I'm always watching movies alone. Um, so we'll come back after, we'll chat a little bit about it, and that will be that. That will be the content covered for exam one. Again, I'm not going to be testing you on random minutia from the book or random, or books, or random minutia from the films, um, you know, everything's already on the exam review guide, which is posted on the Canvas site, so you can kind of see really specifically what I want you to know. But just watch the film, I want you to know the basic ideas, right? So you don't need to study and know every little detail in the books or in the films, just kind of the broad concepts and what they're, what they're arguing for or against in them. All right, so enjoy this, this is RIP, a remix manifesto.